something I wanted to tell you about is that last slide. Also, we had the first reauthorization that we've had with Fletzi. All of you are familiar with Fletzi, the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center. That is something that I'm very proud of. We had to reauthorize that, and we did it. It happens to be the first bill that I passed as a member of Congress, and I'm very proud of that. Now, what about, what did we do last year in 2016 in serving you? First of all, we had 13 live and telephone town hall meetings. We welcomed 652 constituents to the Capitol. Folks, if you're coming to Washington, D.C., if you're going to be visiting the Capitol, please come by our office. We want to assist you, and we want to help you. Y'all cause them to go there. You allow the insurance companies to bail out of the system. And okay, no folks, look, if we're going to get through this, and we are going to get through it, we're going to have to respect each other. I'm going to respect you, and all I ask is that you respect me. Okay? Now, look. I'm going to do the best I can to make the case, and then, and then we're going to talk about where we go from here, okay? On average, this year, premiums through the exchange have gone up 25%. In seven states, they've gone up over 50%. There is, the costs have gone up. There are no choices. Five states in our country have only one insurance plan. Only one insurance plan. My question has to do with a difference between the president's promise to the American people not to touch Medicare and Medicaid. Thank you. Yeah. Now, Social Security. Now, Congress has, seems to have different ideas. And my question is, these block grants can be absorbed by the state, this state, and the money can be filtered anywhere. What guarantees will be put into place if something like a block grant is put in motion? Okay, that's a good question. I appreciate that question. Look, Medicaid as we know it right now is not sustainable. It is it, it, we cannot continue spending this money like we're spending it now. We've got to do away with this cookie cutter approach coming out of Washington, D.C., where these people in Washington think they know what's best for you down here in South Georgia. The states are the ones who know what's best, and we've got to put them in charge. You are absolutely correct. We've got to have, we've got to have some some opportunity in there to make sure it's not being abused. We've got to have safeguards. That's our responsibility. And we will make sure that we have checks and balances in there, that that money is not being wasted. But we need the state's help. And prayer. Let's talk about Planned Parenthood. Yes or no? And let's talk yes about no? community yes. health. First of all, in America, there are 665 Planned Parenthood. First of all, in America right now, there are 665 locations for Planned Parenthood. There are 13,000 community health centers in America. Community health centers, not Emmett, Emmett, Emmett. There are 13,000 community health centers, including right here in Brunswick, there's community health centers. Those community health centers have more equipment, they have mammogram machines. Planned Parenthood has no mammogram machines. They have better equipment. They, they, they offer women better services. I am not. I am not going to vote for any funding for any group that performs abortion. Yeah. 